With the MD-11 grounded across the world, other freighter aircraft are filling in the gaps left by its absence. One such freighter aircraft is the 777F, a workhorse freighter airplane based on the 777-200LR. This aircraft has become a staple of many cargo airlines' fleets and is directly comparable to the MD-11. In this video, we'll compare both types to better understand how they stack up. The MD-11 is a redesign of the historic DC-10. The DC-10 was a popular passenger aircraft and was modernized for the 21st century in the 90s. However, the passenger variant of the MD-11 was not popular, with more efficient alternatives available for airlines at the time, like the A330 or 777. While not popular in the passenger segment, the variant has remained somewhat popular among cargo airlines like UPS and FedEx, with many passenger variants being converted to freighters. Still, this begs the question, if the passenger variant was less efficient than the passenger variant of the 777, is it able to compete in the freighter market? Before we do look at the specifics, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I post twice weekly long form aviation videos like this one and twice daily shorts. If you want to listen in to future videos and enjoyed this video thus far, hitting the like and subscribe button goes a long way. The 777F is by definition more efficient than the MD-11. The MD-11 has three engines, which uses more fuel. The MD-11F has slightly less fuel capacity, mainly because its range is significantly less than the 777. The MD-11F has slightly faster cruising speed, but does not realistically translate into better efficiency over long routes. On the capacity front, the 777 is also superior. The 777F has a max payload of around 220,000 pounds, compared to the MD-11's max payload of around 200,000 pounds. Clearly, the 777 has superior performance statistics in almost every front. At this point, you might be wondering, why would airlines keep MD-11s in their fleet? They're generally older, more expensive, and harder to maintain. Well, the answer comes down primarily to upfront costs. The 777F is significantly more expensive to buy up front, with a newer design and preferable economics. The MD-11 was cheaper to buy, and it's pretty easy to convert to a freighter configuration. The 777-200LR is still being used as a passenger airliner by some airlines, and is generally in more demand than the MD-11. While cargo airlines will use the 777 and no doubt love the superior performance, they will not turn down cheaper alternatives that allow them to expand their shipping capacity with little upfront cost. That being said, the future of the MD-11F is now hanging by a fret due to the investigation in worldwide grounding after the UPS disaster in Louisville. Personally, I hope the type gets to fly again, and that whatever the cause of the tragic accident is, it will not affect the ultimate fate of the type. Clearly though, more airlines will start replacing their MD-11s with better alternatives including the 777F. As more passenger airlines continue to retire their passenger 777s, companies like Mammoth Freighters have been working on conversion programs to introduce more converted 777 models. This will result in an affordable 777F options for airlines to replace their MD-11s. Before you believe the 777F freighter is the cargo aircraft of the future, remember that both Airbus and Boeing are producing new next-generation options based on their new wide-body airliners. For Boeing, the 777-8 will be manufactured with a freighter variant, and for Airbus, the A350 is also offered with a freighter variant. Both of these options boast considerably better figures than the 777F, but again will command a much higher price tag. For this reason, I'd expect the 777F to continue flying for another around two decades, with some models likely flying well into their late 40s as is common among cargo aircraft. Which cargo aircraft do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, if you want early access to videos and other perks, check out my channel memberships by hitting the join button. All your support is very much appreciated and allows more videos like this one to be published. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.